Hi guys, we are here with your Bible reading. We hope you guys are having a good evening. Sorry the Bible reading's late. We're getting a late start. We had a long night, a long day today. I was up sick all night, long morning. I'm still sick. With the heating pad on my stomach right now. It's hot. <laughs> My mouth is so dry from taking the nausea, that nausea medicine because I ran out of one kind so I had to go to the other one and it causes me to have dry mouth really bad. So I apologize if I stop to take a drink. Today we'll be reading in Matthew the parable of the net. And then I want you to really pay attention when we talk about a prophet without honor. It is so true. So very true. It's like in your hometown. Oh, well, that's just so-and-so's daughter or so-and-so's son. They ain't nobody special. And if something good happens to you, they get jealous and they don't want you to have anything good, you know, because they can't have it or they don't have it. I can relate so much how Jesus feels when we read this. You'll see. I can relate so much to that because I've been treated that way in my hometown. People's been crueler in my hometown than people in places I've never been. It's, it's so true. So I want you guys to really listen to that. And John the Baptist beheaded, we'll be talking about today. Remember Herod, the king. His brother Philip's wife, Herodias. But she was cheating on him with Herod. And John told them that it was wrong. It wasn't right for him to have her. And they both hated John and wanted to kill him. So um, Herod threw John in prison. And when Herodias' daughter danced for Herod, he told her he would give her anything she wanted, just name it. And she asked her mother, and her mother said to ask for John the Baptist's head on a platter. And she did, and Herod had him beheaded and brought up the head on a silver platter, someone did. And you're going to see all that today. So, if you would like to follow along with us, we'll be reading in the New International Version. And we will be reading Matthew chapter 13, verse 47, through chapter 14, verse 12. And we're going to start with the parable of the net. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. This is Jesus talking. When it was full, the fishermen poured it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? Jesus asked. Yes, they replied. He said to them, Therefore, every teacher of the law who has become a disciple in the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a house who brings out of his storeroom new treasures as well as old. Now we're going to talk about a prophet without honor. And this is Jesus, you know. I want you to really pay attention to this section. When Jesus had finished these parables, he moved on from there. Coming to his hometown, he began teaching the people in their synagogue, and they were amazed. Sounds good so far, right? Let's wait. Where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers, they asked? Isn't this the carpenter's son? 
isn't his mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Aren't all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. They're jealous. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own town and in his own home. And he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. Now lastly, for Matthew today, we're going to be talking about John the Baptist being beheaded. And you actually get to hear the words from the Bible of the story I've been trying to tell you about instead of me trying to explain it. <laughs> the Bible does it much better than I do. So, At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard the reports about Jesus, and he said to his attendants, This is John the Baptist. He has risen from the dead. That is why miraculous powers are at work in him. You know that wouldn't mind. Some people, sorry, some people also thought Jesus was Elijah coming back. Jesus is Jesus. Now Herod had arrested John and bound him and put him up in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Herod wanted to kill John, but he was afraid of the people because they considered John a prophet, and a prophet he was. On Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced for the guest and pleased Herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed. Because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he ordered that her request be granted and had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl, who carried it to her mother. John's disciples came and took his body and buried it. They went, then they went and told Jesus. So they buried John the Baptist and the disciples went and told Jesus about John being beheaded. Hated John so much and all he was doing was trying to save their souls, trying to stop them from sinning. You're married, don't be cheating. That's a sin, that's adultery. It's in the Ten Commandments, even. He was just trying to save their souls, but people didn't want to hear it. They wanted to do what they wanted to do, and there's so much of that these days. It's even worse, I think. It's only going to get worse. All right, guys. We're going to continue on with Psalm 18 today with verses 16 through 34. He reached down from one high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They comforted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I am not guilty of turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands in his sight. To the faithful you show yourself faithful. 
To the blameless you show yourself blameless. To the pure you show yourself pure. But to the devious you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble, but bring low those whose eyes are haughty. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. Okay, guys, that was continuing on with Psalm 18. We rest off there today with that. My mouth is so, is so dry. I'm so sorry, guys. Maybe I'll keep this piece of ice in as long as possible. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, the verses 7 through 10 today. The beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will give you a garland to grace your head and present you with a glorious crown. Listen, my son, accept what I say and the years of your life will be many. And that was Proverbs chapter 4, verses 7 through 10. Alright guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Sorry, I had to keep taking a drink. I really don't like to do that. It's, I think it's rude. But my mouth was so dry, my lips were starting to stick to, stick to my gums. <laughs> but making fun of me, germ. it's not fun. It's horrible. <laughs> Feels like you got a mouthful of cotton. Wait, don't show me to get the homework out. <laughs> no, when you're ready, Sherm. Sure. Are you ready? I'm ready. And our homework question for last night was... What tax collector had a feast for Jesus? And the answer we should have came up with is... Levi. Levi. All right, and our homework question sure picked out for us tonight is, What army man was given a feast when he joined the side of David? And we can get help finding that in the book of, in a certain, a certain verse. Second Samuel 3. You can find the answer to tonight's question in 2 Samuel chapter 3. And again, the question is, What army man was given a feast when he joined the side of David? And you can find that in 2 Samuel chapter 3. All right, guys, that is tonight's homework. Sure, um, can you tell me the time? Only 14 minutes, guys. Let's get out our prayer books. Come on. We'll just go through the list of names today because everything remains the same with everybody that I know of. I was thinking. Hmm. There was something, but I don't think so. I think everybody is doing the same. So, we need to pray for Pam, Margie Sickles, and Chuck Sickles. I've got that filling up a 
almost want to throw up in there. <laughs> I know. Try it. My stomach's a little. Oh. I need some pep I'm letting it get cold first. We need to pray for Eric, Macy, Christopher Serbak, Miranda and Jeremy Caverly, April and Linda Thacker, Sherman Crabtree, Debbie Lee, Tater, Luann, Bridget, and family, Rhonda Karshner, Shannon and her son Giovanni, Abby Myers, Jimmy Myers, Cindy Welsh, Dora Parker, Ramona Henry, Patty Haynes, Barb Post, Norma Boyer, Garnet Boyer, Ariana Lloyd, Norman Karshner, Doris Thompson, Annie West, Kenny Wellman, Roy and Lori Mollett, Mindy Gallimore, Melody Ramey, Sandy, and Tammy Ashworth. All right, guys, that is our prayer request for today. Like I said, they remain the same. I want to go eat some ice to try to get this dry mouth. Oh, I can't stand it. And get me some Pepto, so hopefully I won't throw up no more. So we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless. Sure. Subscribe. Bye, guys.